nice to see you. Um, it's been a while. So I have a fun one hour class plan for you. So you have a, if you have a playlist, press play. You can enjoy that. Um, and we'll begin in a nice seated meditation. So cross leg, half lotus, full lotus, kneeling, wherever you like to start your meditation, please honor that. We'll begin by connecting pointer finger and thumb, placing the palms face down on the tops of the knees. Sit up nice and tall. Lift the heart, draw the ribs in a little bit. Relax the shoulders down the spine. Take a deep inhale through the nose. Exhale, let it go. Another deep inhalation through the nose. Exhale, side out the mouth. Another inhale through the nose. This time, please hold the breath at the top. Part the lips as if you're sipping through a straw, sip in another deep breath, hold, exhale, let it go. And just let your breath be really natural and steady. Watch it flow into the body, watch it flow back out. Just train your mind to focus completely on the breath, watching the inhale, watching the exhale. And then as you become ready, if it works for your practice and your body, Please shift into Ujjayi breath, breathing really intentionally in and out of the nose, creating a gentle restriction in the back of the throat, allowing your breath to become audible. And we'll just sit together quietly for the next couple of breaths, really connecting the body to the breath, allowing the mind to become really relaxed and focused. Two more deep breath up, breaths on your own. See if you can match the exhale with the inhale. Really being intentional with our breath and allowing this Ujjayi breath to help us travel through our practice today. Last inhale. Exhale and gently blink the eyes open. Sweep the arms to the sky. Plant, point your finger and thumb together and then allow the full palm to connect. Lift the head a little higher. As you exhale, drive the palms to heart center. Take a moment to set a de dedication or an intention for your practice today. Inhale, lift the heart. Right palm comes outside of the left knee. Left arm circles up and back. Twist yourself up and rotate the spine. Gaze over the left shoulder. Take a nice little stretch right here, sitting up nice and tall. Inhale, back through center. Left palm outside of the right knee. Right fingertips right behind the back. Revolve open. Gently come back to center. Hands to the legs. We're just going to gently come onto our backs. We're going to go right into our core to begin with. So go ahead and lift your feet up off of the floor. Back, flex the foot. See if you can spread the toes. Gaze at the toes. Even open up that little pinky toe. Try to connect the mind to the toes. See if you can actually feel that connection. Then allow the knees to come just above the hips. Ankles on the line with knees. Go ahead and interlace the fingertips behind the head. Let the head hang heavy in the palms of the hands. Feel the back start to engage with the earth. And then just lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Continue with your breath. Find your own pace. Maybe you take it really slowly. Maybe you need to move a little bit more quickly. Notice where you're at right now in this moment. Just lift and lower. Lift. And lower. We're going to go right into that fire, right into that center space of our bodies, right from the very beginning of our class, just building a little strength and heat in the belly. This time lift, hold at the top, extend the arms alongside the legs, straighten the legs up to the sky. See if you can point the foot, flex the toes, create that space between each of the toes, and then just lift, lift. See if you can keep the shoulders lifted the whole time. So we're just little lifts and lift, lift. Lift, lift, hold, straighten the right leg towards the earth. Lift the right leg, left leg towards the earth, lift the left. Just keep moving. Maybe even really listen to the music you have going on. 
Listen to your breath. Maybe silence is the best option for you. What's gonna work for today? Just keep moving the legs slowly, switching sides, using the core for your strength. One more time each side. Left leg lowers and lifts. Stay right here. Just keep the legs high, but interlace the hands behind the head. Let the head get heavy in the palms of the hands. Lift, elbows squeeze together, arms wide and lower. Lift, elbows in, out, lower. Lift, in, out, lower. For 10, nine, eight, seven, six. Stay with it. Remember, lift, elbows in, back out and lower. Five, four, three, two, last one, hold, hands alongside the body, knees into chest, take a deep inhale, exhale, let it go, make some little circles with the knees in the air, massage out the lower spine, gently come to center, pause, hands behind the leg, the leg, slowly rock yourself up, all the way around to our bellies, go ahead and come into sinks pose, and we're going to press the palms of the hands firmly to the earth. Make sure the elbows are just below the shoulders. Palms of the hands are nice and sealed to the earth. Fingertips are spread wide. Tips of the feet are connected with the earth. Try to spread the toes on your mat. Then drag the heart forward. Relax the shoulder down the spine. Breathe. Just breathe right here. Feel that space. Feel connected and open. Slowly press yourself up to hands and knees. Sit the hips back to the heels to child's pose. Pause in your child's pose really deep in the breath. Feel that connection. Maybe the knees are wide and belly rests between the thighs. What feels best for you right this minute? How's it working? How are you feeling? Continue to breathe. Walk the arms forward. Slowly shift the hands over to the right. Maybe the left palm's on top of the right palm. Relax the forehead into the earth. And breathe. Hips shift off to the left. Really feel expansive on the left side of the body. Gently travel back through center. Hips shift off to the right. Maybe right palm on top of left. Hips shift to the right. Hands to the left. Maybe the forehead relaxes onto the earth. And breathe. Gently come all the way back to center. Drag yourself up to hands and knees. Lower the forearms down to the earth. Extend the right leg, tuck the toes, and then the left. You're in a forearm plank. Pause right here. Notice if your heart is lowering towards the earth. Lift it up between the shoulders. Feet are hips distance apart. Heels are lengthening back behind us. Engage the glutes, engage the quadriceps. Pause right here, then lift to the right palm and left. You're in a nice high plank. Maybe engage the glutes. Lengthen the tailbone, lift the heart up. Feel your strength in your plank and then lift the right toes and left, right and left. See if you can keep going like this, just lifting right and left toes one at a time and try to resist the hips from wiggling side to side. Exhale, pause, lift the hips back to downward facing dog. Walk the feet in a little bit and find your shape here. We're all different lengths, so see what's gonna work best for your body. We're going to tuck the heels out just a tiny bit. Toes are just slightly in. Feet are hip distance. Palm of the hands press to the earth. Revolve the biceps in and out towards the sky. Relax the shoulders down the back. Let the head dangle a bit and then gaze right at the tips of the toes. Bend the right knee nice and deep. Lengthen that left heel towards the earth. Draw the left hip back. Press the left palm firmly to the mat. Slowly switch sides so the left knee bends, right leg straightens, right palm plants, draw the right hip back. Gently come back to center and please step the feet about a foot forward towards the hands. Take a deep in breath and then exhale, weave the right hand underneath the left arm and grab a hold of maybe the calf or maybe the ankle and then see if you can tuck the head underneath that left armpit. Breathing right here. Draw the left hip back, press the left palm firmly to the earth. Slowly come back to center, switching sides, left hand to either the calf or ankle. Revolve the heart open, draw the hip back, press and breathe. 
Press the right palm firmly to the earth. Gently travel back to center. Inhale, draw the body forward. Finding plank pose, step the feet back. Find this nice plank and then slowly allow the heels to float over to the right. Inhale, back through center. Exhale, heels over to the left. Inhale, center, over to the right. Inhale, center, over to the left. Inhale to center, come up high on the balls of the feet. Press the palms, your back and downward dog. And then slowly walk the hands to the back of the mat, finding your nice forward fold. Heel toe feet a little bit wider than hips distance. And then just allow the body to drape over the thighs. Cross at the elbows, let the head hang heavy. Bend the knees nice and deep, let the belly rest on the tops of the thighs. Let the neck just relax. Yeah. Everything we're hanging on to, everything that's coming up for us, allow it to drift out of the top of the head. <sighs> Place the hands on chins. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, fold back down. Switch the crossing of the elbows and then rock the weight of the body forward all the way to the tips of the toes. Find stillness right here just for two more deep breaths. Then gently relax the hands. Knees are nice and bent, and slowly round the spine up to standing. Inhale, arms sweep all the way up to the sky. Exhale, palms to heart. Sweep the arms up and lift. Exhale, forward fold. Hands to shins, inhale, halfway up. Exhale, melt, walk the hands all the way forward to plank. Inhale, shift the weight of the body forward. Exhale, squeeze the elbows to the body, lower all the way to the mat. Slide the palms of the hands back so the wrists are underneath the elbows. Squeeze the elbows together, press the tops of the feet firmly to the mat. Inhale, lift the heart, finding cobra. Breathe right here in your cobra. Exhale, lower the forehead to the earth. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower back down. Bring the fingertips out alongside your mat. The elbows come right out wide and lift high to the sky. Elbows are just about above wrists and you have the tips of the fingers engaged in the earth. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower the right shoulder to the mat. Gaze up over the left elbow. Maybe the right cheek actually rests on the mat as well. Feel a nice opening, some space being created in that right shoulder head. Inhale, travel back through center and pause. Exhale, slowly lower the left cheek to the earth. Gaze up over that right elbow. Yeah, feel some release in that left shoulder head. Inhale, travel back to center, slide the palms back underneath the shoulders. Press up to hands and knees, tuck the toes, lift the hips, downward dog. Draw a deep inhale through the nose. Exhale, side out the mouth. Ah. Rise high on the balls of the feet. Tiptoe feet all the way to the front of the mat to meet the hands. Forward fold. Hands come to shins. Inhale, find length in the spine. Exhale, fold. Sweep the arms wide and lift. Exhale, hands to heart center. Pause right here. Yeah. Come back to the intention as you're bowing your forehead to your palms of your hands. We're going to move into our sun A's. So right here, really feel that sensation of grounding, rooting, connecting to the earth. Sweep the arms wide and lift. Exhale, forward fold. Hands to shins, inhale, halfway up. Exhale, fold, plant the palms. Please step the right foot to the back of the mat, followed by the left here in plank. Inhale, forward to the tips of the toes. Exhale, slowly lower to the earth. Squeeze the elbows to the ribs. Slide the palms back, inhale, lift, cobra. Press to hands and knees, tuck the toes, lift the hips, downward dog. Inhale through the nose. Exhale, side out the mouth. Ah. Come back to your Ujjayi breath. Deep bend in the knees. Step the left foot and the right to the front of the mat. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, fold. Sweep the arms wide and lift. Exhale, hands to heart. Sweep the arms and lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, step, or if you're ready, float to chaturanga. Inhale, forward to the tips of the toes. If you're ready, squeeze the elbows to the ribs, lower halfway to the earth, and pause. Finding chaturanga, 
Roll over the tops of the feet, lift the heart, upward dog. It's your first time here, so press the tops of the feet firmly to the earth, engage the muscles in the quadriceps, lengthen the heart between the biceps. Exhale, back to downward dog. Pause right here, take three deep breaths. Stay with your dry breath if you can. At the bottom of the next exhale, please bend the knees nice and deep. Float feet to hands. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, fold. Sweep and rise. Exhale, hands to heart. Sweep the arms, lift to the sky. Exhale, melt to the earth. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, step or float to the back of the mat. Bend the elbows, chaturanga. Lift the heart, upward dog or cobra. Exhale, back to downward dog. Please pause once you've found your downward dog. Find some stillness, slow it down for a minute. You know, you can always take a downward dog and make it a child's pose instead. See what's gonna work best for you. What do you need right in this moment? Draw the breath into the nose and hold. Sip it through the lips like we did in the beginning of our practice. Exhale, sigh it out of the mouth, let it go. Yeah, and then when you're ready, please step your feet together at the back of the mat. Inhale, lift the right leg high to the sky. Rise high on the ball of the left foot. Exhale, right knee comes into the nose. Tap the earth with the knee, lift it up to the sky. Tap the earth with the knee, lift it up to the heart. Tap the earth with the knee and lift it up. Hold, flex the foot, step through runner's lunge. Come up onto the fingertips. Put a gentle bend in that left knee. Inhale, rise up, you're in a nice crescent. You might need to heel toe that front foot to the right a little bit, just for a little bit more balance. See what's gonna work best for you. Feel the tailbone lengthen a little bit so you can open that hip flexor. Try to find a nice right ankle angle between the ankle and knee up here in the right leg. Arms are lengthening up to the sky, maybe the palms press. Straighten the left leg a little, gaze up to the sky. Exhale, hands to heart, both hands touch the mat. Right foot meets left, maybe take a one-legged vinyasa. Reach the heart, exhale, downward dog. Left leg lifts, point the toe. Rise high on the ball of the right foot. Exhale, knee to nose. Tap the earth with the knee, lift it to the heart. Tap the earth, use your core, lift. Tap, this time lift, Hold, step through runner's lunge, come up onto the fingertips, gentle bend in that right knee. Inhale, rise up, crescent moon. Slowly start to straighten that leg when it feels good. Otherwise, keep it bent for a minute, lengthen the tailbone, sit a little bit more into the right or left knee, find that nice right angle. Arms are alongside ears, palms press, straighten the right leg. Exhale, circle the hands to the earth. We're gonna flow side to side just to build a little heat and momentum. Lower through your vinyasa. Lift the heart, exhale, downward dog. Right leg lifts, step through runner's lunge. Inhale, rise. Exhale, foot, lower. Right foot meets left, lower through your vinyasa. If you wanna add chin stands, go ahead. If you have some little tricks you wanna work on, feel free to add those in. Exhale, fold. Left foot meets right, lower through your vinyasa. Last time, each side, right leg lifts. Step it through. Inhale, rise. Exhale, fold, right foot meets left. Lower it down, lift the heart. Exhale, back. Left leg lifts, step it through. Inhale, rise. Exhale, float back down, lower the knees to the earth. Sit the hips back to the heels. Find your child's pose, slow the breath. Even it out. Yeah, calm it down. Beautiful. When you're ready, please draw yourself back up. Tuck the toes, lift the hips. We're in downward dog again. Find some stillness, step the, step the feet together at the back of the mat. Inhale the right leg to the sky. Bend the knee and open the hip. Gently draw the right knee to the right elbow or tricep. Sweep it back, one-legged dog. Right knee to nose. Sweep it back. Exhale, right knee, right or left elbow crosses the body. Straighten it out. Right knee to nose, step through runner's lunge. Inhale, rise, crescent moon. Adding on hands to heart. We'll take this first round really slow, finding our shapes. Hands are at heart. We're in a nice crescent moon, but with hands at heart. Start to revolve open to the right. Yeah. Find this shape right here. 
find some stillness. Notice the right hip, try to draw it back a little bit. Sit down nice and deep so that you have that nice alignment, ankle to knee, and keep revolving the heart open. Then extend the arms wide like wings. Flip the front palm and reverse your warrior, so we're exalted warrior here. Keep lengthening that top arm up towards the sky. Pause and breathe. Exhale, left palm comes to the earth. Right arm extends up. Maybe gazing up to the right fingertips. Stay strong in the legs. Pause and breathe. Inhale, slowly rise it back up. Circle the arms, open up for warrior two. Take a moment here also to find that shape. Draw the right hip back, tuck the left hip open. Try to find this lift right here in the mid body. Try to gently align the ankle and knee, but really insert a strength in that right foot. Back toes are in, heels out. Try to lift the arch of the back left foot. Engage the muscles in that straight left leg. Gaze over the right fingertips. Sit a little bit deeper. Engage the muscles in the arms. Relax the shoulders. Sit and breathe. Flip the front palm, inhale, reverse. Pause right here, take the left fingertips, grab a hold of the wrist, gently draw the body back, feel that expansion in the side body. Inhale back to center, bend the right elbow, place it on the thigh, left arm extends straight up to the sky. Revolve the palm, pinky finger towards the earth, arm alongside ear. Notice the shoulder, draw it out away from the ear. Keep rotating the heart open. Find the strength in your roots, the soles of your feet. Inhale, rise back up, warrior two. Circle the hands to the earth, right foot meets left at the back of the mat. Bend the elbows, lower through your vinyasa. Exhale, back to downward dog. Left leg lifts, bend the knee and open the hip. Left knee, left tricep, squeeze it in. Straighten it out, one-legged dog. Left knee to nose, squeeze it in. Straighten it out, one-legged dog. Left knee, right elbow, hold. Lift it back, one-legged dog. Left knee to nose, step the through runner's lunge, high onto the fingertips. Slowly rise, find your strength. Exhale, palms to heart. Pause, sit a little bit deeper. Find the shape, find the stillness. Slow down the breath. I'm getting a little winded. Slowly revolve, open to the left. Extend the arms out like wings. Maybe gaze straight out in front of you. Sit a little bit deeper and draw the left hip back. Sit a little bit deeper into the lunge so you have that nice alignment between the left knee and left ankle. Feel the length of the long straight right leg. Extend the arms, flip the front palm, exalt your warrior. Maybe gazing up to the sky. Feel that space, feel your strength. Build some heat in your stillness. Inhale back to center. Right palm plants, left arm lifts, twist it out. Slowly rise back up. Yeah, cartwheel hands open, warrior two. Yeah, and then take as much time in this moment to set up your shape as we did on the first side. Really find that nice alignment in the left ankle and knee. You're lining the front heel up at the arch of the back foot. Your toes are in, heels out. Strengthen up that long straight back leg, gaze over the front fingertips, lengthen the tailbone, engage the core. Find your center, notice if you're leaning forward or back. Pause, slow it down. Flip the front palm, reverse your warrior, right fingertips, a hold of the left wrist, draw the body back, sit a little deeper into the left leg, lengthen the left fingertips back behind you. Inhale back to center, left elbow onto the thigh, Right arm extends. Revolve the pinky towards the earth. Arm alongside ear. Shoulder out of the ear. Rotate the heart open. Left palm faces the sky. Keep working the heart open. Keep lengthening that long top arm. Inhale back to center. Circle the hands to the earth. Left foot meets right. Lower through your vinyasa. Back to down dog. Pause in your down dog. Slow the breath down. Then notice what your body needs. Either hold your down dog, or if child's pose is where you need to be, meet your body right where it needs to be. Close the eyes wherever you've chosen to be. We're going to stay in this shape for the next five breaths. But so find this stillness. We move, we pause. We move, we pause. Just like life, right? And then right now in life, we have this moment where many of us, not all of us, but can enjoy this complete stillness. 
So if you see, see if you can really absorb that, you can really feel it. And out of that stillness sometimes comes the most beautiful moments of creativity, of connection, community. And for all the people who don't have time for that stillness, thank you for all that you're doing for us. When you're ready, please blink the eyes open. Step the feet together, adding on to that flow. The right leg will lift. Bend the knee and open the hip. Right knee to the right tricep. Lower halfway to the earth. Press it back up. One-legged dog. Right knee to nose, squeeze it in, straighten it out. Right knee, left elbow, roll to the outer edge of that left leg, straighten the right leg out, land the foot, fall in triangle, lift the left arm up to the sky. Lift, lift, and hold. Find some stillness right here. Maybe the left arm extends alongside the ear and hips lift a little bit higher. Circle the left hand to the mat, right, up, right leg behind us. We're in a one-legged plank. Knee back to nose. Step through runner's lunge. Inhale, rise. Exhale, hands to heart. Revolve open to the right. Hook the left elbow outside the right thigh. Twist. Really press that top palm to the bottom palm, working the thumbs towards the center of the sternum. Sit a little bit deeper. Lift a little higher in the side waist. Yeah, and then breathe right here. You've got this. Notice the right hip. It might be swinging to the right. Just drop back in space. Keep lengthening the left heel back behind you. Maybe gaze the sky. Inhale back to center. Left palm plants. Right arm extends. Find your strength heels. If someone's pulling the right hand up, lift up. You're in that twist still. Circle the arms open. Warrior two. Flip the front palm. Reverse your warrior. Left fingertips reach around for that right thigh. So you're in a little bind right here. Keep straight, knee the fingertips back. Sit a little bit deeper into that front knee. It's still bent. Inhale back to center. Hold the bind if you can. Bend the right elbow. Place it on the thigh. Use the left hand to work the body open so it's like a prop for your body. Keep revolving the heart open. Maybe gaze up to the sky in this nice little half bind. Yeah. Slowly inhale back to center. Straighten the arms. Straighten the front leg. Reach the right fingertips forward, left hand to hip. We're coming into Trikonasana Triangle. Right fingertips maybe come to the shin, maybe a block, maybe an ankle, maybe the earth. Left hand up to the sky, revolve the heart open, gaze up. Sit into this Trikonasana, this triangle pose with grace. Feel the engagement in your quadriceps, the release in your hamstring. Nuts breath, place the left hand on the hip, Gaze the earth, gentle bend in that right knee. Float up, half moon. Pause in your half moon. Yeah, lift the leg a little higher. Flex the toes towards the forehead. Feel as if you're standing on the wall behind you. Yeah, and then maybe take Chapasana by bending the left knee, taking the top of the foot into the hand. Press the foot into the hand. Open the heart, maybe even gaze up towards the sky. Feel that opening, feel that expansion across the heart center. Feel the beauty in the pose. Hold for two more breaths. Gently release your back and your half moon. Slowly bring the left hand to the earth. Gentle bend in the right knee. Right and left hand come to the hips and we rise up to standing. Bring the left knee with you. Yeah, so left knee is towards the heart. Grabbing a hold of the left, left ankle, we're moving into tree pose. Please place the sole of the left foot on the inner thigh. Press the foot, foot and thigh evenly together. Find your strength right here. Start to work that left knee back behind you. Stand tall. Find the same alignment in the body from the base of the tailbone to the crown of the head. Maybe close the eyes and palms come to heart center. Maybe we start to extend the arms to the sky. Point your finger and thumb connect. Our branches extend. Find your strength. Find your grace. Even breath. Gently bring the hands back together, hands back to heart. See if you can draw the left knee forward. Maybe take the top of the foot into the left hand. We're moving into dancer pose. Right arm comes alongside the ear. Please connect, point your finger and thumb. Start to press the foot into the hand as you hinge the body forward. Try to keep the right arm alongside the ear. Press the foot, hinge, lift. Yeah, find your elegance, find your grace. 
Slowly inhale, rise back up. Left foot alongside the right. We're at the top of the mat with the hands at heart. Close the eyes, slow the breath down. Heel to feet as wide as the mat is wide. So toes are out, heels are in. Hands to heart, sit into a nice little prayer squat, Malasana. So right, right here in our Malasana squat, triceps are pressing into the inner thighs. Hands are at heart, we close our eyes. Breathe right here. Now then, this is going to be your challenge. Arms alongside ears. You can either stay right where you are. If you have any knee problems, you can be up here. Otherwise, please stay in Malasana, or if you're coming with me, arms alongside ears. We're going to lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. And then there's going to be an arm movement. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Feel as if as you lift, you're opening up. You're expanding. Where can you go? Lower it down, lift two more. Last one, pause. Sit into your malasana, find your calm, find your peace. Slowly take the right fingertips, bring them outside the right leg. Fingertips face out wide, left arm extends the sky. Revolve the hand back behind you, grab for the upper thigh, revolve the heart open. Breathe. Gently come back to center, switching sides. Hands to heart. Left hand outside of the left leg, right arm lifts, twist, maybe grab a hold of the thigh, use it as a way to open the heart. Breathe, gently come back to center, fingertips to the earth, heel to feet together at the back of the mat. Now we're going to take crow pose or crow pet prep, so either lengthen the fingertips forward. I'm going to give you guys a few options right here. So walk the hands forward. And then just stretch. Knees are wide, we're on the balls of the feet. Toes and heels are connected. Sit the hips back. This is the prep for crow. So if you're just working towards it, stay right there. Otherwise, walk the hands back. Press the tips of the fingers into the earth as if you're holding onto a branch. Lift the hips high to the sky. Walk the knees right into the armpits. Rest the, tra the knee, or I'm sorry, the um, legs on the backs of the arms. The shins, that's what I was looking for. Reach the heart forward, maybe take, lift one foot, maybe the other. Pause, take crow, maybe float it back, step it back, move through a vinyasa. Everybody meet in downward facing dog when you're ready. Calm down, slow the breath, find your stillness before we move on. Yeah. Maybe you need a quick sip of water, take it. That's the beauty of being at home, you can do whatever you want. I have no idea what you're doing. Left leg lifts, bend the knee and open the hip. Exhale, left knee, left tricep. Lower halfway down. Press it up. One-legged dog. Left knee to nose. Lift. One-legged dog. Left knee crosses over the, bo the body to the right tricep. Straighten the leg. Ball and triangle. So roll to the inner edge of that back foot. Lengthen the right arm up to the sky and lift the hips. Maybe the top arm extends alongside here. Pinky finger revolve to the earth. We lift a little higher. Shoulder out of the ear. Right hand to the mat. Left knee to the nose. Step it through runner's lunge. Inhale, rise. Crescent moon. Find your crescent moon. Hands to heart. Revolve open to the left. Right elbow hooks outside the left thigh. Left hip draws back. Naturally, the right hip will shift forward. Press the left palm into the right. Revolve the heart open. Maybe the gaze revolves with it. Gazing up to the sky over that left elbow. Straighten the right leg. Keep working the left hip back. Sit a little bit deeper. Yeah. Breathe. Inhale back to center. Right palm plants. Left arm opens. Slowly rise it up. Circle the arms. Warrior two. Your body's been here so many times it knows what to do. Flip the front palm, reverse your warrior. This time, take the right hand to that left thigh, press the thigh away so you can lengthen back. Keep sitting deep into the left leg. Gently come upright, bend, upright, bend the left elbow, place it on the thigh, revolve the heart open. Find your strength, come back to your breath. Yeah. Inhale, rise back up, lengthen both arms, straighten the left leg. Moving into Trikonasana Triangle, start to reach the left fingertips forward. Slowly float the hand wherever it lands, maybe in a block on the outside of that left ankle, maybe the shin, 
maybe the ankle, maybe the earth. Right arm extends up to the sky, and then just feel that release in the left hamstring. Breathe into it. Slow the breath. Stay with your dry breath. Left or right hand comes to the hip, gazing to the earth. Gentle bend in the left knee. Walk the left fingertips forward. Float it up, half moon. Flex the right foot so much it's standing on the wall behind you. Lift the leg up a little bit higher. Right arm extends the sky. Maybe taking Chapasana by grabbing the top of the foot, pressing the foot into the hand, opening up the heart. Breathe right here, stay with it. Find your balance, find that stillness. Pause. If you have Chapasana, gently release it. Slowly rotate the heart towards the earth. Supported warrior three, we rise up, breathe the right knee in front. Yeah, so next side, so gently we're moving into our tree pose. Left hand comes to the hip, right hand to the ankle. Press the sole of the foot firmly into the inner thigh. Find this balance, this equilibrium in the body. Start to work the right hip back, or right view back. Stand up a little bit taller. Hands right at the sternum, maybe the eyes closed. When you find your balance, start to extend the arms to the sky. Point your finger and thumb connect. Arms lengthen wide. Standing tall in your tree. Yeah, find your focus. Come back to that stillness. The next inhale, draw that right knee forward. Bring the hands down alongside the body. Top of the foot comes into the hand. Left arm extends alongside the ear. Connect point your finger and thumb if you haven't already. Slowly press the, press the right foot into the palm of the right hand, keeping that left arm Alongside the ear, we hinge the body forward as we press the foot into the hand. See if you can straighten the left leg out, find your strength. Gently rise back up, lower both feet to the earth. Step to the front of the mat if you're not there already. Hands are at heart. Slow the breath. Feet come back, we're coming back to that Malasana squat. Maybe hips come halfway down if you have anything going on with the knees. Maybe you come all the way down to the earth. Please extend the hands on the mat and then step the feet together. We're gonna take crow. You have the option for crow headstand. I'll give you guys a little um, demonstration of that. Otherwise, just take crow pose. Crow prep is fine. Whatever's gonna work for you. So just take the challenge that's gonna work for you. Don't push it too far. But crow, crow to headstand. I lift my hips high. Knees come into my armpits. I float the feet. I slowly lower the crown of my head to the earth. I draw the shoulders up my spot back. I draw the elbows in and I slowly lift the legs. When I'm ready, I'll draw the knees back in. Knees to come back to the armpits. I float, I jump, and that's it. So take a moment to try whatever version you're gonna to want to. Maybe you wanna try the crow to headstand. If you're coming into the headstand, be really mindful. Press the palms of the hands to the earth. Draw the elbows together. Draw the shoulders up the spine. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm sure you guys did an amazing job. You're so awesome. When you're ready, come back to Downward Dog. We have one more, one more flow through that series, adding our final elements onto the flow. Right leg lifts. Right knee, right tricep. Sweep it back. Right knee to nose. Sweep it back. Right knee, left elbow, straighten out, back to that fallen triangle. Yeah, so we're in fallen triangle. We're gently gonna take the left hand to the outer edge of that right foot. Press the foot into the hand. Start to work the head through the armpit. Lift, press, open. When you're ready, slowly bring it back. You're in one-legged plank, knee to nose. Step through runner's lunge. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, hands come to heart. Start to revolve, open to the right, left elbow outside of the right thigh, sit into it. This time, maybe some options, opening the arms, maybe taking the right hand behind the back. Yeah, maybe reaching the left fingertips underneath, maybe grab a hold of a hand towel, twist it up, take the bind. If you have the bind, press that left foot, that left heel back, draw the right hip back, revolve the heart open, yeah, and breathe. Gently come back to center. Left palm plants on the earth. Right arm extends to the sky. So if the option to heel to the right foot, to the right edge of the mat, toes are up, 
heels in and just open up. Otherwise, you have the option for side plank. Hand comes to hip. You can lower the left shin, step the right foot to the back of the mat, or full Vashi Stasana, roll to the outer edge of the left foot. Right foot steps on top of left. Right arm extends the sky. Rotate pinky finger to the earth. Lift the hips. Everyone meet back in plank. Right foot steps back to the front of the mat. Circle the arms upward, warrior two. Face over the front fingertips, flip the palm, reverse the warrior. Exhale, flow into your side angle. This time, please take the fingertips inside of the right foot. Left arm will come up to the sky. Revolve the left palm back behind you. Take a half bind, this might be where you are today. Maybe you reach underneath for the full bind, opening up the heart. Wherever you are, stay with it. Breathe, yeah? I'm gonna slow down my breath. <laughs> Slowly rise back up, warrior two. Straighten the front leg, last time, triangle. Left hand to the hip, float it up, half moon. Slowly bring the left hand to the earth. You're in standing split, or I'm sorry, you're in a um, supported warrior three, but gently float the hands to the heart. So we're in supported warrior three here. Breathe right here. Yeah. Float the hands to the mat. We're going to tuck the left knee behind the right. Sit all the way down onto our glutes. So you can stay right here and you're like in a nice little twist. Or if that's way too intense for the hips, just straighten the bottom leg out. Otherwise, if you can sit with it, lift the hips, sit into it. Draw the heart up, sit up nice and tall, find that length in the spine. Extend the left arm forward, hug the right shin. Take the right fingertips up to the sky, slowly revolve the body open, gazing over the right shoulder, sitting up nice and tall. Breathe. Yeah, just slowing everything down. Circle the right hand back to center. We're gonna take both hands outside of the feet. Hover the body forward. Sit it back up. Plant the palms. Step left and right foot to the back of the mat. Flush it out with a vinyasa. Last side, left leg lifts. Left knee, left tricep. Straighten it out. Left knee to knee. Lift it up, left knee, left tri right tricep, straighten the leg out, fall on triangle again. Taking that same little option, we're going to take the right hand and reach for that outer edge of the right foot. Slowly start to draw the body through, gaze underneath that armpit. You've got this. Gently travel back through center, one legged plank, step through runner's lunge, inhale, rise, crescent moon. Hands to heart, revolve open to the left. Hook that right elbow outside the left thigh. Press the top palm firmly to the bottom. Open the arms. Revolve the top hand back behind you. Maybe you stay right here. Maybe you reach underneath you for the full bind. Yeah. Notice the two sides of the body. This side's a little bit more of a struggle for me. So maybe you have a blanket or a towel or strap. Go ahead and stay with the bind. Gently extend the arms. Yeah, slowly float the left, right hand to the earth. Left hand to hip, heel toe the left foot to the left edge of the mat. Toes are out, heels in, and maybe take a nice hip stretch right here. Maybe left hand comes to hip and you lower to the right shin, stepping the left foot to the back of the mat. Maybe you roll to the outer edge of the right foot, taking full Vashi Stasana. Know your body, see what works best. Once you've found your pose, breathe into it, work the left hip forward. Right arm, ex or left arm extends alongside the ear. Slowly find your way back to plank. Left foot steps to the front of the mat. Circle the hands up, warrior two. Flip the front palm, reverse your warrior. Exhale, side angle, very last push. Fingertips to the earth. Right arm extends, maybe go for the half bind. Maybe reach underneath, grab a hold of the fingertips, hand wrist or a blanket, towel strap. Sit in, notice if your left hip is reaching behind you, try to tuck it back underneath. Revolve the heart open. Lift the side waist off of the thigh. Gently release, slowly rise. Straighten the left leg. Moving into Trikonasana, nice and slow. Whew. Slow it down, hand to hip. 
float it up, half moon. Exhale, finding your warrior three. Hands to heart. Breathe right here. Hands to the earth, tuck the right knee behind the left, float it down onto your glutes. Now, so we're in that same little twist. You can straighten that bottom leg out if you'd like to. Otherwise, just keep it tucked underneath. Sit up nice and tall. Reach the right arm forward. Hug that shin. Take the left arm up to the sky. Twist it open. Start to revolve the full spine for a full spine out twist. Even revolve the head, gazing back over that left shoulder. Sit up nice and tall. And breathe. Slowing everything down. When you're ready, gently unwind. Both hands to the earth. Hinge the heart towards the mat. Inhale, lift. Hands to the front of the mat. Step the feet back to plank. Float through a final vinyasa. Neat and down dog. We're just gonna take down dog to get to pigeon pose. So find your way into your downward facing dog. Lift the right leg. Right knee comes to the right tricep. Right ankle to the left wrist. Slide the knee down the forearm. Sit up nice and tall. Release the left foot. Walk it back a little bit. So slide the left toes back. Lift up onto the fingertips. Let the hips relax towards the earth. If pigeon does not work here for your body, just take eye of the needle on your back. Slowly walk the hands forward. Forearms rest on the mat. Palms of the hands press. Drag the heart forward. Pause right here, this might be where you wanna to stay today. Maybe you stack one fist and then the other, and you rest the third eye on the wrist, or the fist, bringing the elbows out wide. Allow the neck to just relax. Wherever you are, pause. Slow down the breath. Come to this place of stillness. Notice where the breath slows or stops. Notice where the breath doesn't wanna travel. Travel right to that place. If you need to, take a nice exhale through the mouth as a release. Stay here just for another three deep breaths, slowing everything down. So you have an option to stay right where you are, or we've prepared our bodies for a king pigeon. So if you'd like to come with me, slowly walk your hands back, yeah? We're gonna bend the left knee, come up onto the right fingertips. Circle the left arm back behind you. Take the top of the foot into the hand, then press the foot into the hand. So you have a few options here. This is where I'm gonna stay. You also have the option to bend the knee and take the top of the foot into the bend of the left elbow. Then taking right arm up and over, grabbing a hold of the left hand. So if that is a variation you know, feel free to take it. Otherwise, stay right here and just get this nice, deep quadricep release. If you have the more advanced version, please go ahead and release that. Everyone slowly release the foot. Bring the hands to the mat. Tuck the left toes. Right leg comes back. Left leg lifts. Left knee, left tricep. Left ankle, right wrist. Slide it down. Walk the right toes back. Sit up nice and tall first. Let the hips settle, right? Slow it down. Then gently come down to our forearms. Plant the palms onto the mat. Elbows come just below the shoulders. Drag the heart forward, let the hips settle. Yeah, and then maybe when you feel ready, stack the opposite fist on bottom. Bring the elbows out wide, rest the forehead into the fist. If you want to extend the arms, go ahead and do it. Um, I love this variation of stacking the fist because I feel like it allows my neck to release. So see what's gonna feel best. It's all just different options. And then once you come to the stillness, go ahead and really watch the breath. Notice where it travels. And then watch the mind. When you experience the tightness and these emotional centers in the hips, notice if your mind can go right into it. And you can deepen the breath until you can find a release. You might want to stay right here. Go ahead. Otherwise, if you'd like to try the king pigeon on this side, walk the hands back. Bend the right knee. Reach the right hand back. Grab the insole of the right foot. Press the foot into the hand. Gazing forward, 
Maybe left arm comes up. Maybe you walk the foot all the way into the crease of the right arm, bending the left elbow and reaching a hold of the top of the hand. That's up to you. Otherwise, staying right here. Breathe. If you have the next version, go ahead and release the hands. Everyone, please release the right foot when you're ready. Hands come to the earth. Sit up onto the left hip and draw both legs straight out in front of you. Yes, we've made it to the final, final moments of class. So notice how you feel, what's going on. Let's slow the heart rate with a nice forward fold. So everyone come with me, kind of scoot the hips back a little bit. Lift the arms high. Exhale, just forward fold. Grab a hold of the soles of the feet, maybe alongside the legs. What's gonna feel best for you? Surrender down. Slowing everything down. Yeah, just three more breaths right here. Maybe your eyes are even closed. And then when you're ready, slowly sit back up, bend the knees, and then gently allow yourself to lower onto the earth. So I'm gonna give you a couple of options for our final poses. If you have a block and you wanna take a supported um, bridge pose, that would be an awesome option because we really moved, we worked a lot. So just bringing it down to this slow place where you can really slow back. I'll also give you, if you are comfortable and familiar with um, plow pose and, and shoulder stand, feel free to take that. Your other option would be to take full bridge and wheel. So if you're taking your, I'm gonna take you through bridge and wheel, but go ahead and take Malasana plow pose and shoulder stand if you'd like to, or if you want the supported version. Otherwise, everyone, please bend the elbows, squeeze the elbows in towards the body, palms of the hands face each other. Draw the shoulders up, lift the upper back, and then slide the shoulder blades down. Then lower the hands down to the earth. You're probably right about to touch the heels. Then as slowly as you can, peel the hips up to the sky. Then gently maybe interlace the palms of the hands and walk the shoulders underneath the body. This is so good for a healthy spine. Now what I'd like you to do is firmly press the soles of the feet to the earth, lift the hips high to the sky, gaze directly up, engage the glutes, squeeze the inner thighs together. Lift a little bit higher. Yeah. Breathe. When you've had enough, release the hands, palms alongside the body, slowly articulate the spine again. You have the option to take that version one more time or maybe hands come right alongside the shoulders, fingertips facing in towards the shoulders, squeeze the elbows together, walk the feet in towards the glutes, drop, gently feel the back of the head touch the earth, come to the crown of the head, press the arms straight, lift the hip, full wheel. If you've chosen shoulder stand, wheel, um, bridge, wherever you are, take two more breaths. Yeah, from wheel, gently tuck the chin towards the chest, Lower to the back of the head with bent elbows. Slowly bring the hands down. If you took a shoulder stand, please take fish pose. And we'll all meet up with nice bent knees, bringing arms out with wings, heels come as wide as the mat is wide, and just sway the knees side to side. Yeah, massage out the lower back. Heel to feet together. Cross the right leg over the left. Lift the hips. Roll to the outer, or outer edge of that left hip. Knees float to the left. Flip the palms of the hands. Lift the shoulders. Drop both shoulders onto the earth. Gaze over to the right. For your final twist. Yeah. Just breathe in here. Gently come back to center. Switch the crossing of the legs. Both knees float this time over to the right. Gaze over to the left, lift the shoulders and then drop them back to the earth. See what feels best. Two more breaths. When you're ready, coming back to center, taking a moment to give yourself a final little hug and then straighten the legs out on your mat. Close the eyes. Allow the palms of the hands to face up. Grab anything you need to make yourself as comfortable as possible. Let the soles of the feet relax. Allow the toes to splay out wide. 
or let the whole body become heavy and weighted to the earth. Feel as if this beautiful golden light is washing across the body, shining on our face, our chest, our belly, out onto the right arm and the left arm. Shining down the right leg and the left leg. Shining on the right foot and toe. Shining on the left foot and toe. Then people feel the entire body become weighted and calm. Deeply connected to the earth. And just let go sinking into the next moments of complete stillness. Slowly start to wiggle fingers and toes. Take the thumb and sweep it across the tips of the four fingers. Yeah. Gently extend the arms alongside the ears. Bend the knees, roll to the right side of your body. Yeah, let your arm be a rest, a pillow for your head. Slowly pressing ourselves up to seated. And you and Sukhasana will be begin our class today. We'll have the tops of the hands to rest on the knees face up. Just take a moment to receive the amazing benefits of our practice. Placing left and right palm on the heart center as a symbol of love and gratitude for our practice, our body, our breath, especially our health right now. Allowing the palms to drift from the heart sending some of that amazing energy and light and love we've created together into the universe really intentionally. Sealing the palms together at the heart center, lifting to the third eye, the divine light and love in me honors and respects the divine light and love in each of you. Namaste. Thank you, have a great day.